In this video I'm going to show you the presentation tool in the middle of the screen. So first of all, uh, I suppose as a teacher you would like to upload your own presentation and I, I believe that Big Blue Button does a great job with that. It's very easy to do. Over here at the, at the bottom left corner of the screen of the presentation window you can see there is an upload presentation icon. So by the time you click that one it would ask you to add your files to the presentation. You can select a file. For that one I made a testing PowerPoint presentation and by the time you've you're happy with the file you've selected you can click upload it will take a few seconds to upload and then we will start converting the document what I found really nice with big blue button is that it works with a with a wide range of different files it works it works perfectly with PowerPoint presentation with PDF files with do word document so it does work with the most important different word files so now the uh, my presentation has been converted and as you can see here is my presentation and over here you got the arrows where you can move to the next slide and as you can see my presentation has got three slides um, the first slide is the test slide and then I've got two blank slides I guess you wonder why I did that the thing is, uh, th there is a problem, or maybe that's not a problem, but because you're actually uploading your own presentation. And if, for example, your presentation has th three slides, but you just want to create another one on the spot so that you would like to write something extra, you can't actually do that. So what I suggest you doing is, if, for example, you got one slide where you present some kind of language you will want to have another s empty slide right next to it so that you could write down some notes that you might uh, some problems that might come up during the lesson again another language presentation maybe and then another sl empty slide for you to write things down so keep in mind that you can create slides on the spot and it will only uh, it would only move to the move th uh, move to the uh, it, it would only move between the slides you've created in the first place. So that's something important to keep in mind. Um, so by the time you've created your you've created your slides, you've uploaded them, you might want to start uh, writing things down or uh, modifying them. So. First of all, you got the pencil option at the right top corner, and you can use it to write things down. I find it a little bit hard to use because it doesn't actually appear so nice. You got a few more options. You got the rectangle option. You got a circle option, a triangle. Again, you just click and move your cursor. The, uh, around to create the, the shapes. You get a line option and possibly the one function you're going to use the most is the word, uh, the text box where you can actually write things and I find this quite nice because it can give, it gives you the option to change the font right, the font size right away and also the the color of the of the text so that's quite a nice addition uh, moving to the next one you can clear every annotation so let's say you have a presentation of a language here and you just want to cl uh, clear everything you just click on that button and everything is being cleared however if you don't want to click every, if you don't want to clear everything and there, is some, there are some things you want to keep or you did a mistake with that circle there is always the undo button where you can undo the last annotation uh, one more thing there is a select color option over here that counts for your 
shapes for your pencil and also there is a thickness slider for you to select the thickness of the pencil of the shapes and every other tool also there is a pan and zoom option which can use with your wheeler in your mouse by cli left clicking down and then moving the wheeler on your mouse so that's a nice function which you can also use by moving at the bottom of the uh, presentation window over here there is a slider a zoom slider you can actually uh, zoom as much as you want and then of course if you want to fit the presentation to the page there is this option for you that it, get, it goes back to the normal size so quite a few nice tools over here uh, well hope you enjoyed the presentation and see you in the next video